Hey there, baseball fans. It's me. It's Ben. I'm back. And I'm opening more cards from the 90s from everyone's favorite junk wax era. This is a, this is a continuation of my 1992 Donruss box, Series 2. In here, we're looking for elite inserts, plus some of my favorite players, and anything else that might be interesting. Let's just open these up and see what we can find. Whoa, we start off with an amazing checklist. And actually, Donruss, you did a great job of making the cards look better this year. But why is your checklist so incredibly boring? But there you are. There's Andre Dawson. We'll take him. He's a good one. He's over here. So you can see all these cards. Deion Sanders, bunting. I feel like people don't bunt as much as they used to. Daryl Strawberry, squatting. Will Clark All-Star. Jim Tomey rookie cards. That's one of the better cards in this set. That's a good one. Good action shot of him. Back to my question, comments on bunting, though. Why don't Major Leaguers bunt as much as they used to? Or maybe they do and I just don't realize it. Does anyone have any stats or facts on the amount of bunting happening in baseball, modern baseball versus 20 years ago or even 40 years ago? That's what I'd like to know. Look at Pascal Perez. Look at that wind up. So cool. Jeff Mutis. Never heard of him. Um, also in this uh, series are some Diamond Kings, which are inserts for 1992, which is super cool. Um, so we'll be looking for some of those. They're gold foil stamped, and everybody likes those. This really was just like a leap board for Donruss. The backs are so much better than like any previous Donruss set. John Smoltz. Whoa, what is Darren doing? Like a little dance, like a baseball jig. I'm not sure how I feel about multiple series. Like, if it was just 1992 Donruss and all 792 cards or whatever it was, Blue Jay attendance record. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I think it'd be better because then you have a chance of getting anybody instead of just the same cards over and over again in the, in the series. Here's Bo Jackson. Look at that. That's a good one. Wearing his shades in the back there. Looks like I got a Tony Gwynn on the back here, but we won't jump the gun. Man, I remember how exciting it was to have these two new teams, the Marlins and the Rockies. This is one of the bonus cards from this set. There's Sammy Sosa. Capless. And there's our Tony Gwynn. You think, I think we should just get one of those elite inserts. I've never pulled one. I just want to have one. I just want to have one show up in here. Can we just do that? Come on, folks. Let's use our power of positivity and just make that happen right now. If we all collectively focus our positive energy right now, It'll show up in the next pack. What do you say? Oh, look at that. Goose Gossage, Nolan Ryan, 308 saves, 308 wins. So that'll be a good one to add to my personal collection. All right, this is the one. So add some positivity in this one. A couple of flicks for good luck. Ready? Everybody cross your fingers. And nothing. Well, that didn't work. We'll have to try something else for the next one. Hector Fajardo. I don't know anything about him. You know, we'll set him aside and we'll do a little look up on him. See whatever happened to that guy. Reggie Sanders. Here's another Jim Tomey. Clearly a really tough one to find. That's what these. what's going on with these cards is that you just have 
lots and lots and lots of each one, somewhere between three and five million, which is a lot of cards. There's another Bo Jackson, see what I mean? We're just getting all kinds of duplicates. Joe Carter. Look at this, Tom Glavin. So this is a pretty good pack here. And Wilson, and there's Ozzie Smith. I'd say that's a pretty darn good pack. And our last one for the series, for the set, for the not for the set. I've got a handful of packs still in the box here, but last one for this session or so. And it's gonna have something. Oh, it is gonna have something. Greg Swindell Diamond King insert. Not the one I'd really be hoping for, but nice nonetheless. He doesn't look terribly happy in that picture. Tom Glavin again. Again, Duplicate Central. John Jaha. Actually, John Jaha. That's what I want to look up. Hector Fajardo. I don't have any. You know what? I want to look up him too. Let's look him up. So let's start with Hector Fajardo. I've never heard of him. My guess is that he probably didn't uh, make it very far. Hector Fajardo. There you go. Mexican baseball player. Four years. He played four years. So there you go. That's more than I would have thought. Five and nine record. Six ninety five ERA. 78 strikeouts, play for the Pirates and the Rangers. Nicknamed Senor Yulvia, or Mr. Rain, <laughs> because of how many games he was expected to start that were rained out. That's too bad. Known for actually not playing. That's just really too bad. Back to the Mexican League. League. So not much here, not much more about his... Uh, past either or is um after after baseball so let's look up a quick john jaha <laughs> that's who we've got right here not sure why my lighting is so bad but 10-year career all right play for the brewers the a's he's on the all-star team there you go in 1999 263 141 home runs 490 rbis Play in Japan, then the Brewers and the A's, All-Star in 99. Milwaukee Brewers, Wall of Honor. 96, he hit 300 with 34 home runs, 118 RBIs. That is really strong and respectable. But behind Frank Thomas, Mark McGuire, move on. That's tough. And... So not much more to say. But honestly, more output than I would have thought. So good for good for you, John. Uh, new respect to you. Hats off to you, John. Uh, new respect for you, like I said. The rest of you will see you later.